Hey everyone, this podcast is part of Story Mode, the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. You can support us and gain access to other great exclusive podcasts at patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. Hey, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, I am Tom Ryman. I'm Abe Epperson. I'm Christian Ramirez. I'm Starlene Hodge. And we just watched Solo. I'm a driver. And I'm a flyer. I waited a long time for a shot like this. What do you think? Uh, Well, what do you know? A Star Wars story. Yeah, we did. Man, but we did it as a group, though. We so there's that yeah. as a team. We did it as a family. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, um, Christian actually saw it last night, but Abe and Star and I saw it uh, in just moments ago. Yeah, we less just than, left the theater less than twenty minutes ago. Yeah. It so, okay. um, what's everybody's immediate impression of this film? It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. I liked it. I'm firmly in the "it's fine" category. Yeah, I mean, I went in. I actually, it's one of my favorite uh, Star Wars movies that has come out in this new, because it's, I don't care about Star Wars. <laughs> like, I've never really <laughs> cared. And I was like, oh yeah, this is just an adventure. It's better than Rogue One. Yeah, and I don't care about the extended universe. <laughs> it's, you know, like, I don't, I really don't care about, like, all the details about, like, who's the biggest Star Wars and what crystals do they have? <laughs> <laughs> who's the biggest? I don't, I don't care. This is just about a just a rap scallion doing like my least favorite part was near the end when uh, Amelia Clark uh, talks to the uh, Darth Maul cop or whatever. Right. I don't. I Darth don't... Maul was a cameo. Yeah. I wasn't expecting. Yeah. yeah wait, completely so... unnecessary. Like, yeah. It was yeah. That weird. felt weird because all of a sudden I was just like, wait, when does this take place? Because yeah. I got real confused about the timing of it's after, everything. It's after Revenge of the Sith, I think maybe 10 or 12 years after it. Yeah. Yeah. This is very, okay. it's shortly before A New Hope. It can't a, be that long It's before. about 10 years before A New Hope, Okay, I believe. Wait, when did Darth Maul die? Episode one. Episode one. So, so like, 30 years ago? Like 20 to 30 years before this film. <laughs> so, so that, wait, that wasn't so Darth Maul. That, that was supposed to be a reveal, that was I Darth think. Maul, yeah. he so had he's a, alive. He had robot legs. Oh, because he got uh, cut in half. He got cut oh, in yeah. half. Yeah, because uh, the Star Wars cartoon is canon. Yeah. I don't know it's canon uh, anymore. Okay, that makes so much more sense. I was real confused. I was like, didn't that guy die? Like, I just thought it was like his like brother or something. Yeah, you I was know? Like, like, is this somebody the... else or is this that guy? Darth who, like... Paul. <laughs> yeah, Darth Paul. <laughs> so okay. wait, does he also have like robot pooping mechanism? I assume. Oh, well, really? I mean, his anus might still be intact, or at least like the edge of his intestine, so poop okay. just falls into his... He just... probably has like at least like like a drip pan well, yeah. in his you, robot legs. Would Wouldn't so. you have like a laser that would just like dissolve your poop immediately? He does, that double-handed it? lightsaber. What? Yeah, like I would... <laughs> I would For no reason. So that as set. soon as you poop, it's just like, zzzm, it's gone. He just spins it yeah. below his butthole. He's just... And not even phased his by metal it, butthole. you know? He's like, this... These are very dangerous. <laughs> they cut man half, and he's just like turns it on just for fun, apparently. Yeah, because yeah. he turns it off like immediately. Yeah, he's he goes and like, grabs it and turns it on for no reason, just yeah. to show her that like it's a like, lightsaber. Like, I am. You remember who I am, right? It's like yes, we've member. been working together yeah. for many years now. Member, 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 Star Wars. Ah, oh, Star Wars is fantastic. <laughs> um, it's you and me, Daenerys. <laughs> I actually liked you know. Amelia Clark's character. She was like the most. No, no, I don't. I don't know if I liked her character. I think she was the most interesting one, aside from like Lando and Woody Harrelson. Everybody but Han Solo was interesting to me in this movie. <laughs> yeah, Han. That's a that's a tall task for that guy, right? No, no, no. Because every time yeah. he walks on screen, it's like I'm Han Solo. Everyone is like, No, you're, no, not. you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't Stop remember it. if Han actually had like that little duck hairdo in the in the actual a movies. little bit, oh, yeah. a little, a little bit. Because I was, I kept looking at his hair. I'm like. Is this match? I kept, and unfortunately, well, I kept comparing. I was yeah, just like, the main, you're not really yeah, no, You're not him. The the other, it's like they cast wrong handsome 80s dude, because this guy, Alden Ehrenreich, looks like Dennis Quaid. Yes! Oh, uh, sure, yeah. He does. And so yeah. it's like, you're, they're adjacent. Quaid and Harrison Ford are adjacent, but like, you, you picked the wrong guy. They should have gotten <laughs> like, the Age of Adeline guy. 
Have you guys seen that clip? There's a clip. I don't think so. There's Age of Adeline, Harrison Ford's in that one, and they have someone playing a younger version of him, and it's scary. Like, how accurate this guy. After the podcast, I'll bring up the video just so you can see it. And it's just like, oh, that guy should have been it. And so the whole time, I'm like, why wasn't the other guy casted? Wouldn't that be a little distracting, though? Because then you'd always... Because you're already always comparing him to Harrison Ford. Because that's what we have as Han Solo in our heads. I'll show you this clip, and you'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah. But I don't think that guy wants to be like, so what's your career? Well, I'm like... (laughs) discount Han Solo. I could counter you on that because he did an audition tape as I'm a, trying to do this and that's also online. Oh, I'm, a, I'm yeah. affordable Han Solo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he... Mm. Yeah, mm. I think the best you can do in that role is is sort of what like Chris Pine did in the Star Trek movie yeah. yeah where it's like you do a little bit of an impression sometimes but not all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Your own, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, he didn't it's yeah. He either didn't go far enough, or he just didn't. I don't know. It was just kind of because mm, Lando was right. Yeah, he did the same thing though. He he wasn't always doing full on. Billy yeah. D, or, or like it was. He was never full on Billy D, but like he was doing some subtle Billy D isms. Yeah. And then sometimes he wasn't doing them. Right. And I didn't know if that was like a choice he made, or if that's a product of this being two different films <laughs> right. at one point. Yeah, yeah. The thing I re- made this movie made me realize is. How dumb Lando's accent is, like in the original <laughs> movies. Oh and, yeah, yeah. He's just, like, just the way he talks. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like a very uh, dumb thing. I don't know. It's just like truly belong up here with us among the. It's the stars. swagger. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> the accent. Like... it's the accent with the swagger. Yeah, yeah. I go like, oh yeah, I totally bought into it back then. I bought into reason. it. Now I was into it. I was like, we have all sorts of creatures sounding all weird. I'm like, you oh, know yeah, what? They're gonna yeah. be this guy, and they're all yeah, dumb. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm saying they're all they're all dumb. <laughs> Like they have that song, no, the the that was one of my favorite moments in the movie. Yeah, where the lady's like, singing and the floating head thing. He's like, also singing too. But the he's Futurama like, head. But he's crooning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His tentacle head. So like, good. <laughs> and I was like, I don't. This and, has to be self aware. Everyone's yeah. walking around the club like, mm, this is fine. This yeah. is I was fine. trying to figure out of all of all like the party scenes that you get in every Star Wars movie because now that's just required that there's yeah. a singing yeah. party scene. Like, if I would have wanted to go to this one out of all of them. I will say yeah. this one felt the most Star Wars to me. Yeah. yeah. I was just because, like, this feels sure. chill. It feels like there's some good eats. Like, everyone's yeah. kind of hanging out. I was like, maybe this one. This is the where I'd want to be. This felt, yeah. most, this felt the most like the original Mos Eisley scene to me. Yeah. Because, like, the casino part in The Last Jedi no. can go straight to hell. I didn't like that part. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> it was completely unnecessary and bananas. And why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> just why? And why? Why would you do that? <laughs> um... Okay, so, yeah, so overall, I think we all thought the film was like fine. Yeah, yeah, I it's went in very low, it's good low for, I would say it's good for like kids, like a good like a sure. nine to twelve year old kid going to see this movie. Yeah, she would have a good time. There's a couple of weird fucking jokes. Yeah, like the android the fucking robot? joke. Yeah, and then like the we're gonna how that work? Cut off your dicks. <laughs> yeah, come with us. Yeah, um, that's why I put it a little older. Like, yeah, yeah, like, it's like I don't understand what is this movie rated. PG? It's got to be PG-13. Because their people get shot with lasers. But I noticed that this also has kind of like uh, like the Total Recall reboot and stuff. Like, so People are so scared of ours that like the big final moment where you need to see the betrayal of Han Solo against Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Uh, no, he never fires the gun. Like there's actually, for a second I was like, wait a second. Did someone like shoot him? Right, it's unclear. Yeah. Right, yeah. but then it's made clear. But it's like because they can't show all that. Like, there's too much violence, and they're trying right. to play the line. So it is PG thirteen, <clears throat> which yeah. is yeah. weird. I don't know why. Yeah, it seemed like that. it was overly yeah. protective. Yeah, but it's like it would have been PG when the Goonies was PG because like right. Right. the Goonies they say shit a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. No, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. that was back when films were films. <laughs> yeah. Poltergeist was PG. Well, yeah. yeah, that's true. No, um, I, I like the way that people died in this movie. Not, I don't mean that as a weird like. I enjoyed it. I mean, it was impactful when like the four-armed guy died. It meant something to him. Like he wasn't just yeah. dying for no reason. And the character actually did something when they're dying instead of disappearing like a Jedi. That's true. I will immediately disagree with you though, because the death that comes right after that with Tanny Newton doesn't yeah, make was, any sense. No, makes no sense. I like, like Tom heard me just go, "What?" Well, yeah, was, yeah, because it was like it was completely against like her 
character yeah. that we had I've been introduced to that was like, oh, there's no way out for me. I'm just going to blow myself up. Yeah. It's been a wild ride, baby, and blows yourself up. I'm like, like, that's well, the why? stupidest, most throwaway. Like, you didn't care about that character at all yeah. when you wrote this movie. They couldn't yeah, afford I her just... for more. Apparently <laughs> like... not. Or, 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 like, Westworld wouldn't allow yeah. her to. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm like, <laughs> why? Schedule. Why? Just why? Like, they made it a big deal. Like, they're in love. Like, it was like a thing. And then she's just like, yeah, I'm done. Like, bye, bye. Yeah. No, bye. like, and like then, maybe wh- jump off of something. Like, I feel yeah. like, ev- or like run straight and then blow the bridge because you'll take sure. out the droids. Yeah. Also, how come we don't have like, how come our bombs still play by like you have to be there rules, like grenades? <laughs> like, this is there's so much future shit in these movies yeah. that it's yeah. just like, why can't you like, I don't know, have a hoverboard and there- just know to bring that and then she had a grappling the hook. Why yeah. didn't like? Grapple to the helicopter, maybe jump I don't off know. and grapple to something like there was. I don't know. This, There's options. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah. It made me they think she was gonna come back. To I, I like the yeah. way how dumb she died made me think like, oh, she's gonna show up at the end. Like I thought she was gonna be the one to take off the mask and she's gonna be like, hi, it's Tandy. That's another. Yeah, that's another yeah, thing. Like I, I was thought. convinced when we were first introduced to that pirate whose name I don't remember. I was like, oh, that's Amelia Clark. Like, mm. completely. Yeah. And then they make it clear that it's not. It's like, oh, so this is a new, completely different character. So yeah. for a little bit, I was sort of annoyed by that. But the reveal at the end with it was <laughs> that it was this woman who's essentially the beginning of the rebellion. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. Like, yeah. I, yeah. But it was really funny. I also thought she was going to be like, her... I'm also your daughter. Like, I thought I that thought was, oh, yeah. was going to happen, I was like, wow, too. you look like... You look like a mix of, they, of Harrison they, Ford they, and Tandy. The reveal is yeah. like, like you're huh. supposed to know who this is. <gasps> yeah, that's what it, they made it, it like. It, like. They, they, it was revealed in a way like, you should know who this character yeah. is. I and wish... I'm like, is the reveal that, like, oh, surprise, it's a woman? Because it was incredibly obvious that character was a woman. <laughs> yeah, I think that they were trying to play that for a comedic joke because there's... Han looks over at Chewie like, are and we supposed she, to yeah, know who it is? Like, mm. I wish they verbalized it. Yeah, like, yeah. It would have been funny to do that and have Woody Harrelson also go like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is, why yeah. you take off your helmet? Uh, that doesn't. Yeah. This means nothing. Oh, your voice is you. you. I thought you were. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we all know the robot voices alien. means like you're masking right. your voice well, and at and this it's point. Like, also, like you could, if you looked at the character, you could kind of tell just from like body shape. That yeah. It was like, oh, that's a, sure. that's a woman. What's the name of the uh, revolutionary bot? K8 or uh, L3. 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 I like. I like that. I liked her her character, and I liked that she became part of the ship. I was into that. I was like, "Oh, that, you made the ship actually have like that created a, problem. a brain." Yeah, that created an additional when problem. When he wins the Millennium Falcon, he's Lando taking... wouldn't have let that go. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, I'm taking your robot girlfriend too, Lando. No. <laughs> My my like also uh, Lando. Why'd you bet friend? your why'd robot you girlfriend? Your best friend robot whose yeah. soul is now fused with your ship. Yeah, I thought you were just getting to understand. Like yeah, the, yeah. I actually and I didn't actually like the arc because I know where the arc is in the right place, but it's one of the effects of like this new trend with Star Wars where they're all supposed to be kind of fun. Yeah, and they treat like. Pretty serious things that it's very glib. They yeah, it's very yeah. glib, and then they try to have their cake and eat it too because yeah. they they play that death very seriously. But almost one hundred percent of the time, when it's like revolution, my brothers and stuff like that, it's it always played com- as a joke. Yeah. yeah, like it's just like this is fun and how cute they're having a rebellion. Oh, droids, and then. They turn around and they're like, oh no, but feel the horror of losing your best friend. It's like, yeah. well, don't do both. And then they don't. Star Wars. They don't mourn. No, yeah. Woody nobody mourns. Gets over Tandy Newton. We don't see anybody get sad about the forearm pilot except for Han, who just mm. met him. Yeah. Um, Han doesn't. I mean, he holds Woody's hand until he dies, and then immediately gets up and leaves. And he doesn't feel Amelia Clark's betrayal. No, at no. all. No, at all. He sees yeah. it He's like, just like, no, oh, she's leaving. And then like that's <laughs> it. Like I get. Uh, what you were saying, I understand what his character arc is, is he wanted to be part of something and then was taught, no, all your friends will betray you. So it's like, oh, that's how he became the Han Solo that right, he is, where right. he's just like, sure. well, fuck it, I'm just going to hang out with this gigantic werewolf. And they're all kind that of monsters. That he happens to know the language of, where I'm like, oh, Also, that's... Chewie makes no sense. Yeah, Chewie doesn't He's like, sense. I'm out here to free my Wookiee brothers. It's like, why were they, you gone feral in this time? They were keeping you in a cave, like a rancor? Yeah. And he's eating people? Um, and then he gets yeah, how out. how people that Chewie eat? I don't know. Probably a lot. <laughs> Probably hundreds of thousands. <laughs> I could kind of get that because it's like if he came out to like fight the Empire who's like kidnapping his his people from Kashyyyk and enslaving them. Yeah. Like they threw him in a cave and only threw 
threw down other Imperial guys they were mad at, yeah, he'd probably take his anger out on those guys. So I, I can accept that part. But then, like, when he actually gets the chance to join the Wookiee Rebellion, he's like, no, I'm going to bomb around with this asshole I just yeah. met two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I somehow owe him for Also, this makes yeah, me think, why didn't he did... eat that porg? I was like, you <laughs> ate people. He did eat the porg. He cooked one. He, he cooked, cooked one, but he didn't eat it. He stopped. I think you can assume he, he ate it. I think it's Yeah, one of the other ones looked sad at him. One I was so delighted by... They looked sad at him, and he was just like, aw. And like he co- it's like he couldn't eat it because they were looking at him. You're and then already, they cut. Chewy, you already killed it, man. Right. Yeah. yeah. You Don't waste it. that Don't pork. let it suffering be for nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Eat that Eat pork. that tasty-ass pork. Um, that we don't know what pork. that other pork's motivations were. It might have wanted to eat the pork, too. Yeah, or you never know. Or maybe owed it yeah. money. You never know. <laughs> pork, <laughs> yeah. In pork money. world, crying <laughs> is actually like, how great, how great. <laughs> this is. You know, like, <laughs> really actually means I'm so excited about this prospect of you eating my friend. Somebody yeah, finally ate in him. In Star Wars, <laughs> you just have to not expect people to act realistically. Like real people. Yeah. I yeah. don't know yeah, why it's... we need to ex- expect that, though. Yeah, that's no. that's a sad I feel like, thing. I feel like know. we're making an exception for mm-hmm. the film. It's like, well, it's Star Wars. It's like, yeah, but Star Wars doesn't have to be dumb. It doesn't have to doesn't. be dumb. That's, I, I also think you, like, start, the original series, uh, the f- original three, never really had until, like, the third, the second and third one after you develop, like, real moments like obi-wan dying and stuff but even that is not played to great he's just like no like that's fucked up and then he's like a little bit mopey and then we move on yeah but here they like almost all the deaths they really want you to like feel Mm -hmm. the pangs of it and it's just not earned yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. so pick one or the other disney yeah you can't do both disney you trolls yeah Mm -hmm. that's why i feel like it's it's a kid it's like kid logic like if i was a if i was younger and watching that i think i would then i would feel it because i would be like oh "Oh, okay like maybe oh that's sad i will yeah i will say that watching the movie like it did feel it felt more like old star wars in a way that's just like the dialogue is terrible but um like all the adventure beats were yeah. like fun and engaging, yeah. and it it felt like you know they had all the different crazy aliens in it. Um, mm. They 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 got creative with some of the designs for the aliens. Yeah, I like um, all the capes. Yeah, all the capes. Into the capes. It, just, it, capes it felt cool. it felt like a 1980s sci-fi fantasy movie. Yeah, yeah. In some ways, and then you know all the adventure beats. So I enjoyed it for that. But goddamn, is the dialogue bad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the the boldest offender to me was. Uh, what's uh, like, what's the name of your people? He's like, I'm alone. And I really, uh, really wanted, uh, I wanted that guy to go, okay, so Han. Alone. Lonely. <laughs> and he's like, that doesn't sound right. Because that actually would be Ooh, no. maybe a better joke. Yeah. But they just go right for it. And it's just it's, like, yeah. you see the, you see it a million miles and away. It's so bug- dumb. It, like, it why would he me. keep? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to no, say, it bugs me when characters who like, don't get to name themselves unless it's like unless they're named by someone like significant to them like a throwaway character naming you feels wrong right and like a space nazi yeah Yeah. well it's 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 all the winky stuff in the movie really was all of it was groan worthy and bad and sweaty and that was (laughs) that was a bad one because it's just like we didn't need like a reason for him to be named Han Solo. He like, could have just called himself that. Or like, that could have right. just been yeah. his name. name. Everyone There's... in Star Wars has a stupid fucking name. <laughs> yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi <laughs> the, is the, dumb. Right. That's a dumb name. Like, the most normal name Kid so stupid. far has been Beckett. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah. Woody Harrelson's yeah. name is Beckett. <laughs> <laughs> Sheev, fucking <laughs> Sheev. Sheev. <laughs> like it's the name of your emperor. Yeah, I don't need a reason for him to be named yeah. Han Solo. I've accepted his name as Han Solo for thirty <laughs> odd years. Yeah, I didn't need to get the fucking origins of that. Like uh, I accepted it immediately. <laughs> I also just really want Han Lonely to be a name. <laughs> yeah, Han Lonely. Han Lonely. Oh, Hello. So you're alone. Yeah. Mm. You solo? Yeah, one could say. What so if it was Han already in the lonely. system? He was just like, oh no, we already got a Han Lonely. We got a Han Lonely, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Him. And he just cuts to a guy who's just like, ah! yeah. he's, he's a jizz musician. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> jizz <laughs> musician. <laughs> um, I just realized, and I feel dumb for just realizing it, um, but him shooting Woody Harrelson is obviously uh, an homage Greedo. or foreshadowing him shooting Greedo. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, um, yeah that was, I thought that was immediate. I was first like, oh, okay, he I shot just, first. Man. I just, well, I was too, like, kind of like in the headspace of where did that shot come from? Because I thought somebody else yeah. shot him right, the way that it, right. the, 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 the filming is. And he had um, to have Woody go, I was going to kill you. So just you so that, just bad. to make it clear, like, he's not a bad guy. Right. And it's like, yeah. I only have. They literally have Amelia Clark tell him, you're the good guy. Yeah. No, I'm like, not. I'm, I'm a terrible, terrible person. person. I was like, yeah, no, you're, you're a terrible person. No, I was just like, you're, you're fine. You're not a good guy. You're just there. You're just kind of there. Like, we've seen nothing up to that point that would have him earn the title terrible person. Right. right. It's like, I mean, yeah, sure, maybe he's not the good guy, but it's like, you're just a dude. You're, you're just fine. He's trying you're to survive. You're literally just a dude. Yeah, you're just a dude yeah. just trying to get by. You run away a lot. By. Yeah. yeah. That's not like an evil quality, <laughs> running away. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Everyone has laser guns. Yeah, I yeah. run away too. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, he's like, if you were evil, you wouldn't run away. You would stop. And then murder someone. <laughs> right. Yeah. That makes a terrible person. Yeah, that was that's that's what makes you a terrible person. Yeah. Um oh, there was some other groan worthy stuff in there. I oh, mean, yeah. there's a lot I liked I liked one one line, I can't remember what it was exactly, where he's flirting with Amelia Clark. Because I was just like, like Oh yeah, yeah. He's there, like, he just one line that was actually smooth. I was like, Oh, that's pretty good. I remember the, the line. two drinks. It was like, let's two have a drink or two and see what it finds out. And he's or no, it's like, what ah fuck, I fucked it up. I thought I remembered it. But it's he says let's have okay let's have two drinks and we'll see where it goes or something like yeah, that. yeah it was something along that and I was just like oh that was smooth that yeah. was pretty slick good job good job the only time I was just like hmm. and they cut away to Chewbacca d- two yeah. fisting it at the bar <laughs> oh dude I wanted to see Hammer Chewbacca <laughs> so <laughs> bad <Great>. just, <laughs> just like ripping people's he just has so many arms just, just dancing just, with them just a big pile of arms yeah. that he now has it's just his arms <laughs> yeah. just ripping off he arms. makes a necklace out of them yeah. just doing bits with arms yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's another it's another severed arm oh. he falls asleep yeah <laughs> just in a pile of arms yeah. um i like i like the chewy bit though like i thought that the even though chewy was the pro there's a lot of problematic stuff yeah. about like their relationship and like like you mentioned him why is he not going with his people his motivation is uh, completely baffling but i i was one of the ones that got really angry at uh the new trilogy when it's just like han solo dies and then the next shot is like people sad and <laughs> chewbacca's just fucking off he's just yeah. like walking away like cavalierly you know this it's it's they come back to the planet and like leia hugs ray yeah, yeah. and like, it's like what Hug Chewie. <laughs> you know, the They're guy that you've been friends. fucking friends with for decades. Yeah. The guy that was Han's fucking you ride or die stick man for like decades. Which really ruined it for me because I was like, okay, I guess because he like owes him a life debt. So really did Chewbacca just be like, well, Han Solo's dead. Don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> but uh, at least they gave him a little bit more to do in this movie. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's yeah. In, in, yeah, the new, in the new trilogy, fun. he's a prop. Yeah. 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 So it was. it's fun to see him. Be a character, and I liked you know him and the other Wookie, like put their headbutt. Head, you know, yeah, headbutt. Like, I was just like, oh, Wookies. Yeah, oh, that Wookies. was cute, but how? Like, uh, I don't know. I was really it's hoping we we're so... gonna see like Tarful, <laughs> or like uh, Waru, is... or, or his dad. Yeah, Chewbacca's dad. Yeah, fuck her. Hey, this are, is a Christmas are, special. Are, yeah, yeah this okay. Christmas special. Oh, the Life Day. Yeah, the Life Day. Yeah, his. I forget his fucking family's names now. Yeah. It's Tarful and I don't know. I like the, the idea that he didn't yeah. he didn't go with them because like I'm gonna free you guys, but I know you guys. I don't like you guys. Well, I don't want to join your yeah. resistance. Right. You guys are dicks. Yeah, it's just something. I mean, oh, he, he's that old that it's quite possible he's like oh, I know these guys. Yeah, yeah. there's a reason tribe. they got captured. I'm yeah. gonna free them, but mm. like the one real skinny guy that he like butts heads with has yeah. like a really annoying laugh, and he's just like I don't want to be around uh, this dude. I forgot that about Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Baca, <laughs> Steve Baca, Steve Baca of Clan Baca. Um, there was a, there was a, a, a this one of the oddest references um, was when Amelia Clark does her space kung fu, mm-hmm. right? And Teres Kasi, and they say, what, "What is that, Teres Kasi?" Masters of Teres Kasi is an infamously <laughs> terrible Star Wars fighting game. 
Yep, on that's PlayStation One. PlayStation One, and ah. that's that. It was that was invented. Terra Sakasi is like this martial art was invented <laughs> for that video game. So they fucking threw in a deep ass cut. Yeah. Wow. For Terra Sakasi, mm-hmm. I mean the movie's full of them. They mention Bosk and they mention Ara Singh. Yeah. Um, he mentions being a, in in a speeder races, which is a thing Han did in the expanded uh, fiction. Yeah. Um. Uh, it just felt like the entire movie was, was references. Rem- yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember all that stuff that you heard about Han Solo? Here it is. Yeah. In <laughs> Here two it is hours. in an uninteresting way. Yeah. Like the Kessel run was interesting, but him winning the Falcon from Lando in that game was like the boringest. Sure. Because they just tacked it on. Hey, we tracked Lando down end. to this jungle somehow. <laughs> and now I'm going to immediately catch him cheating, which I didn't before. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. It was how has no one caught him cheating? Yeah, That's right. a he's, long he's not that time. slick, <laughs> right? Because he did. We it, see it twice, right? And he used a like like Han knew he was cheating because he used a card that had already been drawn. Yeah, so it was like. No yeah, one how, that yeah, yeah, how did you get away with this? There was also, a, an alien with eight eyes managed to miss that. Man, yeah. Yeah, his little, <laughs> I his, also love that, like how the reveal of how bad his his like game is on it. Like because he like <laughs> holds it down and they're like, all right, now shoot your cards. And then he puts his hand down <laughs> and you can hear metal. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like it's the worst. Like, click, click, like click. everyone's like, what you doing with that hand? Oh, nothing. Just human stuff. <laughs> just, just, just being a human. human. The only click. way it could be more obvious is if a little robot voice is like cheating tube empty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I thought like, the first time you saw the card game, I thought Amelia Clark was giving Han like signals, like oh, that I kind of cheating. Because yeah, like, that. I'm, and then I realized like the robot that was like tracking them down or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was like a security bot and like was gonna catch them cheating. Mm. Like giving right. like eye signal kind of game, like they used to do that or kind of thing. And I was just yeah. like, oh, that would have been. And then I was like, oh, that wasn't. No, she was just standing there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and right. we we don't get a sense of why Han is good at this game. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't like bluff particularly well, or no. why he's good at flying. Yeah, no, they they just explain that he they dropped out of the academy. The academy. Well, he's yeah. good at flying. Like Ray's good at flying. It's just like you're good right. at it. I'm sick of Special Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in this yeah. series, yeah. It's like, just, you're good at the thing. Like, yeah, like I don't know. That's too much Special Boy. <laughs> too ma- too many little. Special, like I guess. Ones. I mean, I mean, afterward, now that there's robot in the in the Falcon, there's a part of me that goes, "Oh, it's, it's the Falcon's just taking care of itself." Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, he thinks he's good. He's not yeah. that good. It's just the yeah. Falcon going. You're not gonna destroy me." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that would be a way better ship, by the way. If we could just, why don't they just give do them that AI? All the time? Yeah. yeah, this really brought an additional wrinkle to the problem of droids in the star wars universe because it's like l3 is like fighting for robot Mm -hmm. equal rights for droids and it's like you know the they have to have the uh the blocking thing i forget what they call them um why make your droids sentient why do this cruelty why yeah. make them feel pain i mean we did a lot of cracked stuff on this but it's like why do you have sentient droids that feel pain just <laughs> make them robots <laughs> like, yeah, just make because them just they're robots. terrible humans that need a way to make them afraid i guess and then it implies that like there's like a race of droids like yeah. it's like no you were all yeah. manufactured so you're like <laughs> equal rights and like oh b- locking bolts how barbaric it's like no that should be like standard it shouldn't mm-hmm. be an addition that you yeah. put on like you created Built droids into them. Yeah. to be servants <laughs> why make it an external thing that makes them obedient a restraining bolt that's yeah restraining what, bolt that's yeah. what it's called uh there i don't think Disney's to blame for that one. That's no, all. No, it's always been a problem. That's always been a problem Lucas, like all the way back to uh, Return of the Jedi when it's just pulling apart, burning its feet and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? What? <laughs> what? So you, yeah. so your metal feels. Your metal feels. <laughs> you made robots that feel pain, and like C three PO is terrified of death. He yeah. is. Like yes. that's his yeah. defining characteristic. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it's weird to actually see them die like it was just like a, yeah. a part of it's just i'm like oh like she's just she's dying but i'm like but she's a fix it i was yeah. just like like you could, you could just put it in a new l3 new hard also drive, like, right yeah like, like yeah. gets blasted up like his arms sure. and legs get blasted off let's just yeah, wheel out just, yeah. uh let's just wheel out wally and let us yeah. show us how it's done yeah. you know? just, and like l3 died pretty graphically for a robot 
Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. She got top half the fuck Yeah, up. it's just like, oh, rebellion, yeah, this is what happens if you like rebel. It's just <laughs> like, oh. She I love... got shot up like Willem Dafoe in Platoon. <laughs> I do love Ch- Chewie just lifting up Lando. And all three. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just... <laughs> um, yeah, so, I don't... It, I mean, it's always been a problem, but right. I think the addition of a character who is a robot equal rights yeah. freedom fighter yeah. makes it even more like yeah. what is this yeah <laughs> how are how is the alliance okay with robot slavery <laughs> yeah <laughs> and baffling. even and it, like even in the future like where things are hopefully getting more progressive or at least the rebellion has like gotten involved more so there's we're around people like in the original trilogy with mm-hmm. people who seem to care about empathy and such mm-hmm. yeah at least hate the empire who's doing this to droids mm-hmm. uh it's just funny to me that they're they don't even care it's like han after all witnessing all that still goes to see 3po and just like pats him on the head and he's like go fuck yourself buddy you yeah. know like <laughs> he <laughs> does not care in the original trilogy Holy like shit yeah. about you you no. clank clank it just, yeah exactly why why was the place where they could like convert the 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 cables what are they called the clock what are Quax, they? Quaxum. Yeah. Quaxum. why is that place Quaxum, so yeah. so like run down like why how how do you have the technology to do that and you're also like not like there was, a, right. there there was one throwaway line where where she's ex- where the pirate lady's explaining yeah they came to the world like marauders came to the world and stripped it of resources and cut mm-hmm. out everybody's tongue so I guess we're supposed to assume that it's death stew because it kept getting robbed and stuff yeah but yeah that's an excellent question why is this the only place we can do this because it yeah. seems like all they do is plug some tubes in so it's like okay so it's not like a natural thing here yeah that allows you to refine it's just a refinery like, this is just like it's just a refinery that so isn't should, controlled which isn't by the controlled Empire. by anybody so yeah. you guys should be making oh, bank that's, the, that's yeah. what it was yeah okay like you guys should be making a lot of money from everybody people? who wants to like come <laughs> Why in isn't and, it like, controlled by the empire <laughs> Yeah, you, like that, here's this uh refinery with about i don't know 13 people yeah it's yeah like, all of them old and have no tongues, I guess. Yeah, like <laughs> it wouldn't take a lot of stormtroopers to capture that place. Yeah, <laughs> why didn't Paul Bettany's guys just like secure that place beforehand? Like, yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. oh, this is ours now. We can refine stuff here. Yeah, okay. Paul Bettany was a fun character. <laughs> yeah, I liked him. He looked gnarly, dude. Yeah. He did. His like yeah. face he looked was all scared. scratched. His up. eyes were all fucked up. First time we see him, he's like he's stabbing a guy to death. And he's breathing like he just all came. That w- all yeah. that was missing was like the plate of coke. That should have been in that yeah. room. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was just like, oh, I can't do that because Disney. But, oh, man, he definitely has a stash of something oh, yeah. Yeah. somewhere. Because yeah. his yeah. eyes get super Because that's red. how he played yeah. that character. Yeah. I was just like, yep. mm. That dude's on robot. I mean, not robot. Like, fucking space cocaine. Space cocaine. <laughs> Let's do some space cocaine and listen to jizz music. <laughs> that's right. He had a full set of Mandalorian armor in the background. Yep. And it was featured so yeah. prominently that I kept expecting it to be be like a reveal like oh is he mandalorian yeah but no no <laughs> it's just, it's just is mandalorian one of his boba, it's the boba fett armor yeah. Yeah. boba feet uh, mm-hmm. it's Feats. just it's right there and it's it's like yeah. in the center mm-hmm. of so many shots and i was like <laughs> oh is he gonna be mandalorian no, he's not. i also no, like he's the, just a guy he's the just... helmet that uh woody harrelson wears is the oh, yeah. lando helmet from return of the jedi yeah well oh, they get little yeah, yeah, they get it out of the Falcon, nice. so I assume it's just like a disguise that Lando has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just cover my face. I have this. I am a guard, <laughs> and that's one of the things We're he guards. pulled out of the Falcon before Han took it. But he didn't take L three mm-hmm. out of the Falcon <laughs> or his chest set. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I hope he took all of his capes. Well, I'm gonna need I this disguise. There were some great capes. In <laughs> yeah, there. I mean, maybe Lando just expected to get it back soon enough, like. Okay, you could get get this thing for like a hot second, and he's like, "I'm gonna get it back." These guys are idiots. Yeah, (laughs) he also could have just off screen. You don't know because it's been a while. Yeah, maybe L three isn't on the ship anymore, and like L three is fine. Maybe that's true because we don't see that module in A New Hope. That's true. Okay, so maybe it's just not there anymore. Also, I hope that's not the last time they see each other before Empire. Because that makes that relationship baffling. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, no, yeah. they definitely they hang out. To, yeah, they, yeah, have they to had to have. have yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're going to make more solo movies, but. They right. hung out. Well, they They've hung... definitely made out a couple times. I oh, think. yeah. They had a, they had a Bowie <laughs> Jagger oh, yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, now he's going off to uh, Work Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. yeah. So... Who was on Tatooine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. that's the yeah. Tatooine gangster that they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's the Okay. I didn't know Jabba. I forget. I forgot Jabba was there. Yep. 
Yeah, you remember the line? It's like, I was born out here. It's like, you're going to die out here. Oh, Convenient. that's right. That's right. <laughs> I fucking love all yeah. these uh, origin stories that I'm really surprised they're not going to make a job of the hut origin story where you're like, <laughs> it just starts with him, cra- a little worm cracking out of an egg. <laughs> yeah. <Just right. laughs> we kind of get a job of origin because he's in, he's briefly episode in episode one. one. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I mean, just the idea of like, how did he become a gangster? A little slug baby. Yeah. yeah, little yeah. slug baby with no arms. How are you a good gangster yeah. at all? I think how did he kill people? Did he just like eat them? I guess. <laughs> or like, he pays other people. To yeah, I think maybe Java he does. just has a lot of money. Well, like the, huts the huts are apparently all gangsters or yeah. criminals or they ha- they're they just like a, a... It's weird that they have like a race that is exclusive. I mean, that's how Star Wars works. Like, yes. A race is exclusively one thing. A planet yeah. is exclusively one climate. Yeah. Like the huts are all Marlon Brando's, yeah. and Jabba was the best Marlon Brando. He was the Brandoist. Yeah, <laughs> they have a planet called Nal Hutta where they're from. There's all sorts of dumb mm. expanded universe stuff that we could talk Nal about. Hutta? Yeah. No, we don't. <laughs> we can, emerald jewel we in their language. If that you guys could yeah. see, if you guys could have yeah. seen Abe's face with that, it took it like half a second to like settle on that. And was like, no. It's like no. I reject it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to I reject this. Respond. Um <laughs> my primary complaint about the film from a filmmaking standpoint is that they don't fucking light it. Abe, did you agree on that point at all? I thought there's I thought there's some sequences. There's that, some sequences that uh the lighting didn't pay off. I did like I did actually really like it because it's it's actually kind of hard to light uh, so many different skin tones, mm-hmm. and I thought that in the original and even in the three uh, prequels, the yeah, well, I mean, those look like hot garbage. But like right. anytime there's a bar scene, yeah, Star Wars doesn't look as good as it looked in this movie. I thought, uh, yeah, that's because true. you have a lot of people of color, you have a lot of aliens of colors, <laughs> uh, and it's just like it's hard to maintain the saturation in a dark, dimly lit, like kind of like. There's smoke all around. So I thought those were good. The one that you mentioned when we came out was definitely, I thought about it was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, which is at the beginning where everything's just got this blue cast yeah. mm-hmm. and it's ugly. And of course it's explained because then he breaks the window and the, you know, what's centipede the, lady. the centipede lady who has like the stupidest voice I've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> that whole Proxima Midnight was that Proxima one's Midnight, name. Lady Proxima, yeah. yeah, Lady Proxima, yeah. But like, gets burned by the sun, so I understand it why it's dark, but it doesn't need to be that. I dark. feel like there's a better right. way to do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, of course. <laughs> not just do like a blue filter over everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, that the first twenty minutes of this film are rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like when when all through that stuff, and when it's him and Amelia Clark like is driving toward the uh, the checkpoint on their land speeder. Uh, and he throws his dice up on the on the thing, and then they they keep mm-hmm. driving, and he's like, "All we got to do is get there. like." That point, I was like, I like, I, I, I thought to myself, I was like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no, this movie's gonna be really bad." Yeah, <laughs> and it's two hours and twenty yeah. minutes long. <laughs> yeah, they could have just left that whole part out. Why didn't they just start with him? Yeah. it's just meeting real, Woody Harrelson, like, like running through the yeah. running through like Fagin's pack of child thieves yeah. and. And the whole that whole scene with right. Lady Proxima is very bad, like excruciating. Yeah. I definitely bad. had the thought of like, oh, Donald Glover can not get here fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was takes, like, where is he? I was like, where's Lando? Takes, Why don't we get Lando right now? It takes him like an hour. Yeah, like, it's like it's a long time before you see Lando. Yeah, and <laughs> like, I knew, please, Lando, and, get here. And also, the I I the writing was so bad on his introduction terrible. too. She yeah. was like. He's very attractive and all this and all that. I was like, you don't have to tell us that. We know. We'll see it. Right. It's like, this film's a visual medium. (laughs) Yeah. How about don't put the cart in front of the horse? Uh, Yeah. yeah. Like, how about let us get charmed by a very capable actor playing a very wonderful role? And all of that is ADR, too. Yeah. Yeah. There's a scene before that ends where she's like, I know a guy. It's going to be, he's retired, but we'll see. And then it's this. You know, you know, the establishing shot of where he's at and it kind of follows Mm -hmm. him in there. But then, like, the dialogue continues. So it felt like a reshoot. 
yeah. of sorts where it's like we need Ron all this Howard dialogue decided. explaining how awesome Lando is. Like, no, you don't need to explain really it. You don't. Like, show him. Just yeah, show <laughs> him and then have them like after like at, like the moment where like he's just like, what was her name? Kia? What was her name? Kira. 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 Like as yeah. soon as he says Kira, and I'm like, oh yeah, there he is. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just like he's just like, oh, there's the flirt. He's great. Like, uh, and, cool. like all of it. Like it's, it's just like when you when they're looking down at him at the game and he's just interacting with other people at the table. It's like, yeah, we get that he's charismatic. Yeah. We can see that he has kind of a eccentric style and mm-hmm. like and the, yeah when she shows up and he's like oh Kira like it's yeah, like, yeah. like oh yeah we understand this character it like, would also yeah. make the scene where she is trying on robes a lot more effective because then you'll be it wouldn't be like well she just likes him she it cuts to her in his like closet or his whatever trying room. on his cape in his yeah. cape room and she's like putting stuff on that would be like I don't know if if I was Han Solo, I might be like, oh, oh yeah. are you guys like together? <laughs> this, Oh, shit. I didn't know. Yeah. Why are you trying on his capes? Right. And it was yeah. just completely passed off as like, a, oh, I just like that he has capes. Just everything about him is delightful. Yeah, no, yeah. that was definitely another one of our exes. I was just like, oh, you're bringing your old ex to and your other right. exes to, yeah. go, <laughs> to go like do this run for like your new boo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like. I kind of wish they played up on that a little bit yeah. more because that's interesting in itself. Yes. Like, wow, you're really just you're getting all you're just getting all your boys everybody. back. All your dudes yeah. back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, play up on that. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. kind of neat. Mm-hmm. But, that's something know. interesting that female characters don't typically do in movies. Yeah, and especially Star Wars specifically. Yeah, yeah, that's uh... like who's actually like a manipulator who's good. Like like Amelia Clark, her character. The reason why I liked her character maybe. As far as this movie goes, more than any of the other characters, she was more interesting to me because she's different than the other Star Wars women who are so, like, strictly honor bound about everything. And, like, because Princess Leia is just a badass and she's awesome and she's good all the time. And her mother is awesome and good and kind and all of these things. It's nice to have an anti hero who's a woman. Yeah. Right. And have her not leave with Han or die in yeah, the end, which exactly. is what I was expecting I was from. expecting her. I was just like, too, okay, yeah. she's just going to die, right? Like, yeah. gonna, where is she now? Yeah, because yeah. we would have heard about her in A New Hope, and that's right. ultimately the problem with these films. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yes. It's like, why well, I couldn't give a ghost of a shit about Rogue One. I still haven't right. seen it. I'm like, I don't care. I, don't... <laughs> I just want yeah. someone who has like the gall with one of these properties just to one time just pitch like they're in the room with Disney. He's like, and then Han Solo dies <laughs> they're like what get the fuck out of here like, what you could do that yeah can't we <laughs> we can do whatever we want with disney we're there's disney. cloning in this movie yeah. yeah um oh god let's hope they don't go down that road yeah the i was really seriously bothered and i'm uh, i'm glad it didn't like i'm glad amelia clark's character had a different arc and a different ending to it because there's two different times in the movie where a uh, a female love interest like dies it and you have eats it and you're like okay and you have the man running toward her like yeah. no like calling her name it's like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah it's nice yeah. that she doesn't need saving no yeah no she knows she saves his ass yeah. <laughs> she kills Paul <laughs> yeah. Bettany yeah. <laughs> which but even in that scene like he gets the gun and then she knocks the gun out of his hand just to have a moment of like I might kill you. And then she turns again. I was like, "Why did you? But why did you? Why did you knock the gun out of Han's hand to begin so with?" So she could always have control. I think. I guess yeah, I was, was just like, like I was like, you could have just killed. Like he was about to kill Han himself. You could have just stabbed the guy. That's true. That would have been true. very efficient. Yeah, that's true. I do like how she actually killed him, though. Oh, um, and I mean the, the fight scene. The, was the blade. Yeah. The, yeah. First Cutting off, his sword. His knives are fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, real cool. Lightsaber. And then knives. the other thing yeah. is just as it burns through, and now it's like now I have a pike. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. you just made a, uh, this weapon better for me. Yeah, no, you're right. The whole movie is her using her old booze against each other. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Paul Bettany and Han and Lando. It's just uh-huh. like in that last scene, she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna play these dudes off of each other so that yeah. I can leave with this yacht." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, there's like, more oh, better good. look out. <laughs> <laughs> Those like, robot good legs. Jo- good job all around. I was like, all right. Yeah, you, I I get it. But yeah. Um, I, yeah, I'm glad. I'm I'm glad when she betrayed him because I was expecting that the whole movie. Like oh, even yeah. even the beginning when they're like running away together, I was just like, oh, you're gonna do something fucked up, right? You're gonna just take the the thing. The yeah. You're gonna take the thing, yeah. and I was like, oh, she didn't do it then. Oh, it's like okay. 
It's like, when's she going to betray him? Because she's clearly going to betray him. Right, that's why I was like, oh, she's the pirate. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, the the whole time I was just like, she's she's definitely the bad guy. Yeah. When when is this going to happen? She keeps hinting at it and saying stuff like, you would look at me differently (laughs) if you knew the shit that I did. There's a lot. He does not ask. Oh, really? Because like, what what are we talking about? Like, like, are you space settler? Or like, what are we talking about here? Are you like selling babies? Yeah. (laughs) Um, yeah, he never asked. Like, there's a lot of... Han Solo's given a lot of information in this film that he just doesn't hear. Yeah. yeah, yeah as soon know. as he sees her and she's just like, oh, you're alive, you're good. Okay, cool, 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 great. Uh-huh. And he's like, but I wanted to save you. And she's like, you don't know how to do that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't need to do that. Everything's it's been fine. Years. It's been yeah. a long time, man. <laughs> and the second, like, when they're, like, talking in the party and then she sees Woody Harrelson, she's like, like her face goes like, Ugh. she's like, oh, you're working with Beckett? <laughs> like, yeah. That should be like, mm, yeah. this we're is supposed a to kill you red today. Red flags. <laughs> like, yeah. He's just like, oh, oh, I don't. <laughs> fucking Han Solo. Yeah, fuck it. He's not, he's never been that smart of a guy. That's no, true. he's never no. been that smart. He's always just like luck. Just he bumbles luck his way through. And, you know, John McClane. Charm. You yeah. Know. yeah. Same with Indiana Jones. It's Gumption. all over. Yeah. They didn't yeah. do any hints of him being. Force sensitive at all, right? No, like that was no, not, and that I think, nobody was. Right? I don't think that's even canon anymore. As they so. had some of it in in like the expanded universe stuff, but then it's like, well, one, Han doesn't need to be force sensitive to explain anything that happens, nope. and two. Leia, like, yeah. we don't, <laughs> yeah. we don't, we don't need. Yeah. It's like, oh well, Han has to be force sensitive because uh, fucking Kylo Ren is. I'm like, no, no. and Princess Leia. Leia is his mother, <laughs> and <laughs> like, also three. In the beginning of New Hope, his character goes from like, "Oh, the Force, that bullshit." Yeah, don't believe in that for one second. Yeah, <laughs> so he's already coming from a place in those movies where he's been like, "I'm gonna be really surprised if they do another Han Solo movie and they want to do Jedi's at all." Yeah, you know they shouldn't because they shouldn't. It's weird to introduce to reintroduce Darth Maul in the very end of this Han Solo movie. I will say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I was I asking. I was like, was there, was there be any like hint Obi-Wan of like a Kenobi. Jedi thing that I missed? No. Because I was like, why would I was like, why is that there? There's no Jedi yeah. at all. Because this I is like it's... right when the Jedi are still all dead. They have been right. purged. <laughs> yeah, I mean Vader. At this point, Vader's probably still cruising through the galaxy, yeah. killing Jedi off that random Jedi stragglers. Mm. But I, yeah, I just. I actually one of the best parts of this movie is the lack, with the exception of that, the lack, lack of, of Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Force yeah. That was fine. in general. It's mm-hmm. just a heist movie. Yeah, yeah, heist adventure. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. a lot of yeah. yeah it's I it, again as a as an adventure movie, just like the beats of it, I enjoy it, and I guess yeah. it's where you see like Lawrence Kasdan come in there. But yeah, yeah, right. The fact that he wrote it, I'm surprised the dialogue is so bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe, uh, maybe he wrote something and they're like, "Now nah, you got to Star Wars this up." <laughs> Like they're like, this, this maybe John Caston like is movie. the real uh, yeah. bad apple or something. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, he may have just done like the first draft, and this is like sure. the fifth, right? Revival. Yeah, did, yeah, probably. Did the music get weird for you guys at any points of it? When the Star Wars theme came in, it was weird. Yeah, every- uh, that bothered you. Hmm? A little. That bit. bothered you. It because at that because we don't hear it until almost two hours into the film. Yeah, I like the rest like, of the score, like the the mood music and the tone that it was setting. I liked it for was, the most part. It was very Star Warsy, and then but when it broke into the theme, Actually, I was kind of like, yeah. I don't need that here. I liked it, yeah, because it's like, how many times am I going to see the Millennium Falcon be in a laser fight with a? Dun, 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 yeah. dun, I'm like, all right, I know this for every year of your life, <laughs> right? For, yeah, like I don't forever and ever. It's like, and, and this ever, time ever. it's a new set of characters because mm-hmm. it, it becomes you get diminishing returns on it. It's mm-hmm. like I'm gonna feel nothing for this ship because eventually, because it's just gonna be. And now these new characters are on this ship, and it's mm-hmm. like I don't, mm-hmm. I don't care anymore. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Yeah. yeah. And why the space Cthulhu? What? I don't know, but I was fine with that. <laughs> I was, it was like okay the big worm and the I was asteroid fine with shit, it, but it was really like random. <laughs> well, they mentioned she like the robot mentioned yeah. it on their there's way there. Things. They're like, oh, there's probably creatures out there that feed on the gases. Right. And I'm like, oh, okay, so there's definitely going to be a creature yeah. when they go yeah. into that later. It's no different. I, I didn't it was like really all the gigantic. eyes. I'm not into why did it have eyes? Yeah, they were uh, gross. Yeah, because it's gross. Yeah. I, just, I that was another very 1980s feel for me. Just a random giant monster out there, <laughs> not like the Phantom Menace. No, or that's like. Where they're always a bigger fish, swimming, yeah. and then another one eats that one. It's like, oh <laughs> Jesus, George Lucas. Uh, I also love that it was like sweaty and like sticky, <laughs> moist, yeah, in, in space, space. <laughs> in the vacuum of space. Yeah, 
And like Weird. It, yeah, it had like drool coming out of it. But it's no not not that much different from Empire and just right, the worms asteroids, asteroids have worms yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Sometimes yeah, why there's would it, why giant Why would that octopus? creature even give a shit about a spaceship? Like it, it wouldn't would, be a like, natural. Yeah. Maybe because it thing. almost flew into his face. And maybe he was like it's oh, attracted maybe. to light, like the stuff that's at the bottom of the ocean. I like, guess it sees light and it chases. I it. want it to make sense. I want. Oh, I want won't. random no, space monster make to make sense, and it yeah. Also, a monster got sucked into the black hole. Void. It yeah. eats gas. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> also, space is very is large. Big? Why is it just like kicking it right at the maw? I yeah, think they right call by it. A black right. hole. It's like yeah. an inch from a gravity well. Yeah, just like. A few feet, just like, just kicking it here. <laughs> this is my spot. <laughs> this is safe. There's a, a hell portal right there. Yeah. <laughs> if you get too close, it will rip your skin off. Like, and never... it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and it That's never goes that. into like the safe tunnel. How do they make the tunnel safe? I, I don't, don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. What? Okay. I don't understand what they flew Force through fields? at the end. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, <clears throat> these two giant things are about to crush together. It's like, what are those? Oh, is that a reference to the garbage? I don't know. No, no, no. no. Like when they have to, you know, when they're in in this scene, when they had to like aim the hyperdrive and then do light speed right as these two giant rocks are coming together. What were those things? Yeah, it's supposed to be like I think a young solar system or something. Like how everything's crazy with gas and rocks and stuff like that at the beginning of a solar system's life cycle. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's like a star being born or something. Yeah, I think that's kind of what they were going for. That's kind of cool. Okay. They could have said that. Yeah. <laughs> they could have explained that better. Anyone could have said that. I would have accepted like, that. No, this is just the maelstrom. It's I would a have, space storm. I would have accepted that piece of dialogue from any of those characters. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they would have this all known is, that. You would this know this from being, being in space. Yeah. yeah. The universe um, is born when the giant monster that floats nearer, <laughs> right, nearer yeah. gets its skin sucked off, and yeah. then, and then, and only then, you will get a new. Now, now, when a monster and a gravity well love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was gnarly. Its skin gets ripped I off, know. and it's just this oh. giant skull. Yeah, this movie was PG thirteen. I checked. Yeah. yeah. Um, stop it. As just long as nothing it. happens to the humans, you can do whatever you want. Right. Exactly. Yeah. A little bit. I don't know. Just make PG Star Wars. Sure. It's like making the PG-13 Ninja Turtles movies. It's like, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why would you do that? Yeah. Like, He's a party dude. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need to like murder and people. He is cool but crude. <laughs> yeah. Not that crude. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like Revenge of the Sith, I was... I understood. I was like, yeah, well, PG-13, because this is like going to be the grimmest one, because yeah. you have to see a lot of yeah. major characters Jedi, get uh, fucking yeah, yeah, killed. Yeah. Um, Would you guys want a Lando movie or a Lando TV series? It depends on whether Donald Glover's involved. Well, it, Don- right. He's involved. Like, if he's involved, it ha- it either, to be Donald Glover. I would do a TV series. I would like to watch him <laughs> go on like scamming adventures. Yeah. yeah, how he gets to governor of a space station. Oh, they hint like, at it. Yeah, like he says, "Oh, I want a moon." And yeah, like, I, oh, it's a money pit. <laughs> That's the money. Yeah, pit. yeah, the yeah, money. Yeah. Like, it's turned out Investment. to be a money pit. Like yeah. I think he won. I think they even say that in Empire. Like he we he got he acquired it somehow yeah. through Lando means, and he's but like, then I'm he actually like, running it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how does that happen? I don't know. He's still running side business. You know he is. Yeah, he course. sells Han outs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> constantly I feel, scheming. Yeah, he needs a TV series of some kind. Yeah. Just because that would be... Or the, even a cartoon. I'll just take a cartoon. Just call it the Lando Chronicles or whatever. You're yeah. recording? Yeah. I think he called it the Lando Chronicles, right? Or is it the Calrissian Chronicles? Oh, uh, so yeah, something like that. I forget what he was calling his, it. His YouTube show. His little, oh, yeah, his yeah, little his vlog little, that he was making. Oh, man. No, I really <laughs> enjoyed that. I was like, look. You. Yeah, that I'm was funny. That. That's yeah. great. I would that was, watch those. Yeah, I would watch those. At the shit end, he just that. goes world star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I want. Yeah, I want. I want more of that, but I don't know yeah. if I'd need it to be a big movie. Like I, would I feel watch, like it would be smaller stories. Yeah, I could. I really liked the adventure of this, like the adventure yeah. pace. Like I love adventure movies, and having it have the feel of an old Star Wars movie was cool for me. So I would watch. I would watch more solo movies, definitely. Sure, especially if it ha- you know continues to have Lando in it. Um, I would just watch more movies of this type, definitely. Sure. Yeah. yeah, or a TV show of this type. I don't just, need the Jedi's. No, anymore. fuck off! Like no. that's the problem that Star Wars is having, where it's like we're gonna make a movie a year. We're really gonna blow out this universe, and it keeps being about the same bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Special yeah. No, no, no. Kids. Go to like yeah. special boys. Yeah. yeah, special boys with magic. No, go to like the grimy parts. Like that's why I'm yeah. stoked for 
a Boba Fett movie that just got announced, mm-hmm. or a, I don't know if it's official, but like James Mangold. I would watch yeah. that. That right. already. I'm like, you mean I was like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm like the, there was a game. I think it was. I forget what it was called, but they were going to make it for a long time, and then it got canceled when Lucasfilm closed down Lucas Arts. Oh yeah. Um, it was like thirty one thirty or something. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was about it was Boba Fett, and it was going to be about like all like the grimy parts of like Coruscant, Coruscant and yeah. like like the underbelly stuff, like the non magic mm-hmm. regular people yeah. trying to get by in this crazy ass universe within the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I'd, I would see more of that. Yeah, I'd dig a gangster movie in the Star Wars universe or a western. There's or a couple a western, of western yeah. shots in this film. Yeah, yeah, the, that a that a leg shot that was a weird shot. It was a weird shot because it's it's framed it, like he's dropping his balls on Lando's head. Yeah, um, it was what, a little tight. It was weird. <laughs> a little too tight. <laughs> A little tight. too tight. Weird shot. Well, that's also why I was like, oh, they clearly become boyfriends at some point. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, because that shot and then the slight flirtation, I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, they hook up at least and then on the a drunken, at the end. there's a drunken yeah. situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get, they get, get drunk and experiment. Yeah. He just um, spreads his legs and you just see an erection start <laughs> in the pants. And you're like, well, yeah. this took a turn. <laughs> Earning that PG-13. Not solo anymore. Well, because yeah. normally in, that shot's normally in like like James Bond movies where yeah. like the lady does that shot and like, right. there's the and hero lady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so I was just like, why why are we doing that shot? And it was just a weird. It was just I think weird. it's because it's it's supposed to be here's two gunslingers because that's where sure. the oh that's what of, it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that <laughs> shot's very. It was that's too, a sexual like you said, shot. It was too tight. That's way too tight. <laughs> 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 um, and then they uh, obviously at the end with the, the face off with Woody Harrelson. It's like kind of good, the bad, and the yeah. ugly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> do more westerns. Do a western with fucking Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah. I want Han Solo. I still mm-hmm. want to. I, I mean, I know you just said no more Jedi's, but I want an Obi Wan movie. I want I want Obi Wan on Tatooine and just hanging out. Not being able to be a Jedi <laughs> and just like solving mysteries, yeah. yeah. He's like and Columbo like farming, well, he's like, like yeah. him just keeping everybody away from this poor kid on a farm. Yeah, I like think... would be an interesting movie to me if he can't use his Jedi powers and he's just it's just what's his face? What's his name? Ben? Anakin? No, no, the actor who plays Obi Wan. Oh, you younger. younger. Yeah, I want your. I want because he is so enthusiastic. He is really yeah, so he into keeps it. saying, "I'll do an Obi Wan," and like, "Oh, okay, hold on, <laughs> maybe." Like, I'll do an Obi Wan. He's great. Like, just I want to get see a little him, older, he's a, right. a little closer to Alec Guinness. <laughs> like he's so, like he's so excited, and I'm like, yeah. I like you as Obi. Like you were the only part of the older movies that mm. I. Yeah, yeah, he that was, was he's the best part of the prequels. Yeah. So I want, I want to see an Obi Wan movie, but I want to see Obi Wan having to not use his powers and just hanging out. Yeah. And I feel like that's cool. maybe the only reason to have that Darth Maul scene at the end is because an there's Obi-Wan going movie? to be an Obi Wan movie or something. Okay, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> it's the only I, way it makes sense to me. Needs, Jesus <laughs> God, I I vote a a rom com with one of the Tuscan like... Raiders or whatever. <laughs> sure. Like, oh yeah, give me a, ro- a Star Wars rom com. Yeah. Like, go ahead and yeah. give all the yeah. genres. Just do it. Star Wars murder mystery. I mean, we've been sure. saying this for years. Now. Yeah, <laughs> a survival just, horror movie or something. An Ocean's sure, like a horror. Yeah. Oh god. Star Wars, like an Ocean's thing. Eleven, but just Ewoks. <gasps> sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what the la- <laughs> this is what the Lando TV show would be. <laughs> the Lando TV show would be all of this. Oh, that's, that's the Jawas. Oh, yeah, that's oh, the yeah. Jawas. Jawas, there's a Jawa in there. I don't know. There's yeah. fucking Jawas. Jawas on the little guy. Jawas there's on the little guy. Yeah. yeah. How about, how about uh, Warwick Davis showing up? Yeah, yeah I would say Warwick would be bigger. Right, like not having a character name. He <laughs> gets one line, name. but he's like a, he's like a featured... Like Peter Wasn't there Dinklage another yeah. guy yeah. who we all recognized? <laughs> the referee yeah. at, the, at, the, at the robot boxing place? He was like some actor. That oh, was it's, it's, was. it's Clint Howard. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I know you. Yeah, it's Clint Howard. You're yeah. like... Brother of Ron Howard. Yeah, yeah okay, Howard that makes sense. Movies, I was just yeah. like, I know you. Yeah, that was delightful. Because mm-hmm. it's just like... I feel like that's what Ron Howard's been doing to Clint Howard. Is <laughs> like, just like, oh, you want to be in the movie? Absolutely, Clint. You'll be in the movie. All right. What's you, well, you're in one scene and you get your face grabbed yeah. by a, a, like a droid. Yeah. You're going to be a weird bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Clint was just really mean to him growing yeah. up. And so now this is his revenge. Uh, Piece Clint, of shit, Clint. Clint as a very little boy, like five years old, is in an old, uh, original series Star Trek episode. Oh, really? I remember yeah, that. The, He's like the, the weird Corbinite, baby. Corbinite maneuver. Oh. Yep. I want. I. 
if if it's possible, I just want to be since they're going to be making these movies. I want to be an extra in one of the party scenes. Sure, I sure. want to be a weird robot lady, something, anything. Like I think that would be cool. Yeah, I want to be yeah, like singing Star next Wars to a floating everyone. head. Yeah, <laughs> do a duet. I want to wear a cool outfit and look shocked when like the guns go off. I'm just yeah. like ah, and like then mm-hmm. run away. <laughs> Clutch your space pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that oh, like there's. There's always an alien who's just like freaked out that yeah. shit's going down, mm-hmm. and then they fuck off. I'm like, yeah, that yeah, that would be me. <laughs> I would like to play King Porg. King Porg, <laughs> the Porg King, <laughs> the Porg King. Are you just wearing just... Porg bones? <laughs> like, what are you? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, you are I'm, just I'm actually the a porg. monarch of a Porg. <laughs> a I'm very sli- large, a slightly larger Porg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I see. <laughs> I see Chewbacca <laughs> eating one of my brothers, and I'm like, Bah! Kill him! That's, that would be dope. That would like be pretty sweet. Porg. Yeah. Like, Porg king. Porg, like, Braveheart, but, like, with Porgs. With Porgs? <laughs> <laughs> Just waging war on the Wookiees, <laughs> eating yeah! them. Writing smaller Porgs. It's not our fault, you're so delicious! <laughs> yeah. oh, smaller Porgs. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any final thoughts? Any last things you wanted to talk about or bring up about the movie? I mean, it was worth the time. It was fine. Yeah, it, it was, was fine. The the it was fun. First twenty minutes or so, pretty rough. Mm-hmm. Probably but probably s- not going to watch it again in the theater. No, oh, but no, if no. it's theater, on Netflix no. or something, I'd be like, all right. Yeah, I'll give it another shot. Yeah. see if I missed anything. Yeah, but, I'll watch it on streaming, but I don't need but, to see it again in the theater. Definitely yeah. my favorite of the new movies. So far, it's the only one I've liked. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not like knocked me out, knocked it out of the park. It's just like, no, it just right. It felt more humble, which is what these things should be. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like the adventure. Movie. I still like Force Awakens a little bit better. I like that one, I mean, but yeah, then and hum- I recognize your opinion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. No, it's and fine. I get what I understand. Like I was, like, I fine. I like it for reasons, but yeah. sure. But so uh, yeah, it's up there. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. all the new ones are pretty much just fine. Like. That some of them are not good, but <laughs> what was your this favorite? Is a f- this is the first one that I could see myself watching again. Sure, because yeah. it's yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. like an Rogue adventure One was movie. horrible. It's fun. It's, Which yeah. one? Rogue One. Oh, Rogue One is garbage. Still haven't seen Rogue One. Yeah, it's garbage. You almost kind of have to. I want you to see it, Tom, but I want everyone I think to be around still, you. Okay, well, we could maybe do that. It's on. Know. It's on. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, just, that yeah, needs to the, be a group watching whole, just so yeah. you could like, so we could see your like, <laughs> just face. be like. Mm. <laughs> and the thing about Rogue One is, if they had just made a spy movie or like a, a war movie like like Rogue One at a different period in the Star Wars universe, where it wasn't like jammed right at the beginning of A New Hope, I I like the idea of it. I really like the idea of a Star Wars spy movie. Spy movie, sure. Yeah. I, so I don't know why it had to be right where it was. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I know, you why, know why. But I want that. That's that's my only thought is that I want more different Star Wars movies. Yeah, I don't, I don't want the same six characters in every Star Wars movie. No, I wanted Rogue One. I wanted the 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 architect who built the the Death Star. Yeah. I wanted that to be the mom instead of the dad, just to swap it up a little bit. Where it's sure. just like someone going to go save their mom. And the mom is the one who like did the thing. Like, give me, just give me, because it's all about daddy issues. It's, it's in this. all daddy it's issues. It's all daddy Star Wars. issues. So just give me a little turn. And she's like, <laughs> I'm gonna go rescue my mother who built this badass engineer death machine, yeah. and who also wants to corrupt it. I'm like, that would be that would have been enough for me to go like, okay. Oh. Oh, all these. That's right. All these movies are doing the retconning to cover up the mis- like. This one takes care of the parsecs, parsecs thing, and it also takes care of why Lando inexplicably calls him Han. Yeah, all the time. Just to be yeah. a dick. Just to be a dick. <laughs> Which but, I'm okay with. I like that. I like, I like but that. it's it's funny because in Empire yeah. he says it while he's being choked to death by Chewbacca. <laughs> right. So he is so committed to this <laughs> bit that he will do it when Han is not around and he's being he is actively being killed by Chewbacca. He's like Han. <laughs> It's actually it's just a, a but now it's like, but now be, here's the thing if they've since they've clearly dated now now it's like a pet name. Mm, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah. I I like to think that Lando <laughs> just has a speech impediment, and his, <laughs> his real name is Lando. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lando. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and Lando no one ever talks Lucian. about it because it's he's kind of sensitive about it, you know. <laughs> it's not cool just to bring it up. Hey, how come you keep calling me? Uh. 
ham. And I was talking about. I'm saying ham. I'm saying ham. Right, you're saying yeah, you're ham. Saying ham. That's what I said. Ham. I mean, oh. <laughs> Who's Lando Calrissian. Yeah. Lando Calrissian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is better, the fact that he has a speech of Penn or that he's just so committed to this yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this 30-year bit that he's been doing. Yeah, if someone takes my ship with my robot girlfriend, I'm just going to always call him Han. That's right, yeah. Be. You're lucky that's the, what he calls you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just slightly fucking your name up. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> to mess with you. From the get-go, though, also. From jump, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was just like, nah. Just- no, it's Han. Han. Yeah. Like, I'm Han. Okay, Han. <laughs> All right, you fucking dick. <laughs> yeah. Immediately yeah. doesn't think. Yeah, immediately. I mean, imagine if someone solo. did that to you in real life. Like, <laughs> hi, my name's Abe. All right, Ob. And I was like, All right, <laughs> yeah. All right, Ob. No, no, it's Abe. Ob, good to meet you. <laughs> just like what? A that nasshole. is a yeah. That's a, a that's a non-starter. Like the, com- <laughs> the conversation does not advance beyond that point. Unnecessarily. <laughs> like, All right, look. You're, you're I, I don't know if you're doing this on purpose now or if you're just like trying to fuck with me, but like, like why a, the stats? I had a teacher in high school who would call me line instead of star. Mm. And I was just like, well, if you're going to do that, do lean, lean at least. Yeah. And he's just like, no, this is how it's spelled. And I was just like, oh, you're an asshole. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're just, you're just a dick. Yeah. Really yeah. leaned into that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. But he made fun of everybody's name. Now that I think right. about it, he's probably kind of racist. I was about to ask, is he a white guy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's racist. Oh, yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, also, people made his name. I mean, I'll just say his name was Dr. Handelsman. So he got a lot of comments mm. for his name. Yeah, so did. I think he was just very like, I'm going to get all y'all before you get me. Yeah. yeah but so, still. Sometimes think, people are like just bad at jokes and need icebreakers and it just yeah, that's true. comes off as bad. Other times they're racist. <laughs> Other times, they're, yeah. I know I had more than one teacher that any kind of like quote unquote non-traditional name like just pissed him off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not going right. to try to say it. It was whatever your first name I'm gonna is. I'm going to call mm-hmm. you Jay. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> not even going to try? Okay. All right. Fuck <laughs> I'm going to yeah. call you Dick then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Yeah. Um, does anybody have anything they want to plug? Abe? No, no. Catch me at Small Beans. If you're listening to this, it's patreon.com slash small beans. Cool. Christian, I guess. Yeah, I'm also doing stuff on Small Beans, doing Pop Culture Petri Dish, which is my show with Abe. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, follow me on Twitter uh, at Starline X, pronounced Starlene X. Mm. <laughs> and uh, please follow my webcomic, rubywhipple.com. Ruby spelled with an I. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Tom. All right. We're going to get out of thanks, here. Thanks, Tom. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Our music is produced by Chris Corlew. You can follow him on Twitter at at the Corlew, C-O-R-L-E-W, and find more music at shipwreckedsailor.bandcamp.com. Our artwork is produced by Justin Brown. You can follow him on Twitter at at Justin T. Brown, and find more of his artwork at artnessbyjustinbrown.com and justinbrown.info. Hey, everyone. This podcast is part of Story Mode, the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. You can support us and gain access to other great exclusive podcasts at patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds.